Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and today we are gonna have some fun with LinkedIn, JavaScript and accepting invitation. So this is going to be a little bit fun and you're gonna learn how we can just play around to polish our stuff on different kind of languages. In this case, I'm gonna choose uh, JavaScript for here. As you all know, I work on it a lot and we love that language. It's not like, let's not go into the language debate here, let's go and have some fun with it. So these kinds of things, I first thought I'm gonna do it like alone. I usually do that quite a lot to keep me brushing off onto languages uh, between Python, PHP, JavaScript, Java, all of that. It keeps me intact with all of the languages at a time. I do these kinds of fun stuff, I love them. Then I thought that I should record this video and I, then I realized who might be watching this video. So this is my first attempt for these kinds of videos. In case you like it, do let me know. In case you don't like it, do let me know. I won't be doing it in the future. And so just let me know. Okay, so let's go ahead and have some fun. And in case you like it, let me know. So this is my LinkedIn page. We do have some invitations on the LinkedIn. So there we go. We can see we have 19 invitations because I accept them uh, quite often. So instead of just accepting them like uh, manually, I want to write a simple script where I can actually load them up. Why my internet is not working at the time when I want to record videos. So there we go. So this is uh, 19 as of now the situation sometimes get really worst. So we want to create a simple script so that we can accept all these invitations. So let's go ahead and try that out. Now I would always recommend in writing these kinds of script is never ever memorize anything because you have to create them on the go not like memorizing the stuff otherwise you will never be able to create them. So let's go ahead right click and click on this inspecty thing uh, which inspects the element and I'm gonna use this arrow sign. What do we call this? Select element, element selector? Let's call it element selector. We just named it. And we are interested in this part uh, because I want to click or write a script which can actually click on this. So first I need to dig it through uh, into this part. So I'm gonna just select this, this entire area. Uh, so in this header part, we can see this is our header part. Now when I hover it, it selects one. So this is the unordered list I'm interested in. I'm gonna open that up. Definitely it has like IDs of ember 42, 51, 60. I think that's the ID being generated by database itself or probably somewhere else. So we do have right now three. I want to click on show more. There we go. We can see that more are loaded, but we definitely have a little bit more than that. See all 19 invitation. And there we go, page changed up. So this is like in the division. Okay, I need to select that again because there's no way I can find it again. Let's go up here. And this is the section I'm interested in. So just open up, keep on opening up and just rely on these blue boxes like what element you are selecting as of now. So just keep on opening up and there we go. So this is the section I'm interested in. So when I click on this part, I can see that my entire row in which I'm interested in is selected and this is definitely repeatable, obviously. So we're gonna click more onto this. We can see this is divided into two divisions. This is the one. This is for message. I'm not interested in message one. So I'm gonna open up the top one. The top is designed by three division itself. The first one is for ticking. Second one is the card itself. And the third one is the action container. Okay, nice name, action container. I'm just digging into the CSS written by the LinkedIn people. So there we go, we have got two buttons up here straightforwardly. The first one is ignore, not interested in that. I want to accept that. And the second one is accept. So there we go. So how can I write a CSS for this or create a looping stuff for that? So it should be pretty easy of doing these kinds of things. Now I believe that the CSS that we are having uh, in this one, this button secondary medium, is unique so I hope you can see that uh, we have got this button secondary medium this is pretty unique I believe so I have no idea if it is not unique then we have to actually go through into this list item a loop through in each list item by this invitation card selectable and then we have to further loop in into this element we definitely can do that but let's try out if this uh, CSS which is button secondary medium is unique or not and probably we can loop through on this entire page if they are not using any CSS other than this accept button. I'm not pretty sure about it. So again, let's go that and I don't want to write it onto directly console because it would be less visible. So I'm going to write it here and we're going to just create a variable again. Please don't start the debate about var, let and const. 
let's keep it for another day or inside my JavaScript series, we're gonna just right now have it really simple. So we're gonna declare a variable and that variable is gonna be simply document dot uh, get element uh, by, oops, it's not element, it's elements by a uh, class name. There we go. So we have got a selector, get element by class name. Definitely we do have other selectors, we can use it. Whatever clicks first to you, go with that. And we need to provide a class name, there we go. So we now have a variable which holds a class name. Now in theory, if it is repeating on the page itself, it should be an array. And we are just creating a dynamically array here. And if it is an array means, um, so what should happen? When I loop through this array, we should be able to print something 19 times. And uh, let's try that out. I not I don't know if this is going to be like working or not even. Okay, so we can go up here. We'll go with the classic way of the looping so that everybody can understand it. Var i is going to be equal to zero and i is going to, not i, uh, it is going to work i is less than x dot length of the array. And after that, we are going to go for i++. Okay, pretty cool stuff. And we want to print something. So we're going to print console.log and uh, we're going to print uh, LCO. Uh, maybe. Come on. There we go. And hopefully, it should be printed out 19 times. I'm not sure. Okay, so we are expecting it to print 19 times. Let's hit that and see how many typos I have made. Yeah, there is one typo. Yeah, how can I work without typo? There we go, I missed a quote there. And there we go, should be working now. I always make a ton of typos. There we go, hopefully it should be working now. There we go, we can see that 19 times we are able to print LCO. Okay, makes sense. So that means it verifies that this button is not being used anywhere on the page. I was worried about the sure and the thanks for sharing, that it might be almost the same styling, so we could have been selecting these ones as well. But luckily, we are not, we are not. Okay, so we're gonna just minimize that. So somebody just keeps on messaging me that. Uh, okay, looks good. Uh, now let's move forward, forward here. Okay, so instead of just console logging it, I want to use this X element itself. So I'm gonna say X and we are gonna go for ith. And on this element, I want to use a click method. But since I'm not sure that whether we will be able to properly click on that item or not, I'm gonna go ahead and change the length to one only so that I'm absolutely sure that I'm not denying like everybody in a whole uh, thing and it, that too in a video, horrible. So let's go ahead and copy that. If I haven't made any typo, we should be now in theory be able to accept the very first uh, invitation. So I'm gonna hit enter. There we go, boom, 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 we have, we have done it. Ah, I'm, I'm still, I still get excited about even the smallest code possible. Uh, I just want to run one more check so that I can verify that we are accepting it. And uh, yeah, it, it's actually working. So we can now tweak it further. Uh, we can go up here and we can actually mention that as x dot length. And hopefully, in theory, we should be able to accept all the invitations now. And we have crafted this script. Uh, let's just first check it out if it is working or not. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we were successfully being able to accept all the invitations and it's still jumping, jumping and jumping. And officially we have got 8,800 connections on LinkedIn, so that's pretty awesome. So not only we have designed the script, we have also learned how to design these kinds of script uh, by just uh, having little bit tweaks here and there. And just like everybody else, I make mistakes too, but I know how to just tweak them around or I don't just give up, okay? That's the whole theory. So technically that was fun and I'm not pretty sure how many of you are gonna like these kinds of video because I do that kind of a lot of stuff while alone with the computers and all those stuff. So in case you enjoyed these kinds of video, I definitely can make more. Just let me know in the comment section, should I be making this more or just say, Hitesh, uh, no, no, not this kind of stuff. So <laughs> that's it for this video. I hope you are enjoying this stuff. Do subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna come back with more awesome videos and uh, let's catch up in the next one. And yeah, subscribe please. I do need subscribers here to keep my motivation high. Bye-bye.